Now let's do this for the bromine. Okay, here the also I'm going to have to flip this reaction. So let's do that. Um, I'm going to do the same process. I need to flip it and take the uh, divide that by two, which means I'm going to take the reciprocal of this value. So instead of negative 15, it's going to be one over that and then the square root. Okay. So my, uh, my KP, let me go ahead and write this out. My KP for BR in equilibrium with um, uh, one half BR two, okay, is equal to, it'll be uh, the square root of one over 2.2 times 10 to the minus 15th. Okay, and so what this ends up being um, is, let's see here, the square root of 1 divided by 2.2e to the minus 1, 5, and I get 2.13 times 10 to the 7th. Okay, so that's my k for the second equation. And then the third equation, um, I'm happy with it like this, except, uh, I mean, the, the product I need over there, but I need to divide it by 2, okay? So the equation that I really need here is 1 half h plus 1 half br in equilibrium with h b r okay so my k for this value uh, for this uh, equation is just going to be simply the square root of this value all right so that will be um, square root of 7.9 times 10 to the minus 11th and that gives me 8.89 times 10 to the um, minus sixth. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Now, when I sum these up, okay, um, let me just uh, separate this so that it's not uh, confusing. I'm going to sum these up. I have hydrogen atom and my bromine atom, okay? And then here my one half, uh, sorry, this should have had a two there for each of those because that's what I started with up there. Those will cancel here in the half BR2. And so my net equation is what I want that uh, gaseous hydrogen atoms react with gaseous bromine atoms and they form HBr. Okay, so the Kp for this reaction, now that I've got these in the right form, my Kp here is, uh, again, I can understand um, if I write this out in the symbolic form, this one would be the pressure of Br2 to the one half power, or I'll say the square root, divided by the pressure of Br, all right? And, um, and, and what I have here is, uh, well, let me just, let me just say what happens is I'm going to call this P1, P2, and P3, okay? My final K is going to be the product of these three, okay? And then uh, we'll see how that works out, all right? Because what, what's going to happen is I'm going to have 
uh, this, PBR2 over pressure BR, and then times KP2 is, uh, oh, that was KP2. KP1 is, um, is this one which is pH2 over pH, okay? Um, square root of pH2 divided by pH, and then times Kp3, which um, is HBr, the pressure of HBr, divided by the uh, square root of the pressures of each of those, okay? And I'll just write it like this, pH2 times PBr2, okay? So you see that when I multiply those across, um, here I have the pressure of the Br2 under a square root, that will cancel there. And here I have the pressure of the H2 under square root, that cancels there and I end up with the products of my new reaction over the reactants, okay? So indeed, that works out. So I'm just going to multiply these three together, and what I have is 1.44 times 10 to the 20th times 2.13 times 10 to the 7th times 8.89 times 10 to the minus sixth, okay? And what this ends up being, I'll just write it here, 2.7, uh, and then I'll leave it at two significant figures, times 10 to the 22nd, okay? So very, very product favored reaction, but uh, that is how you go about calculating the uh, K for a reaction that can be written as a sum of multiple reactions.